So once the prep mail has gone out, people can start preparing. Um, and that means that the beginning of the lesson has already happened when they walk through the door. And I tell them that, and that I hope that it takes away a little bit of the anxiety. Nevertheless, they will have to start the lesson somehow. And I discuss with my students, given that every beginning is a crisis, how they're going to handle it. The crisis is not going to go away. It's going to happen and it's going to be a crisis. So what are you going to do about that? How are you going to deal with this? And there are various options that um, experience teaches me work well. Um, usually until brains are warmed up and everybody's actually not just physically in the room, but mentally where they need to be, something very concrete helps. An image helps. A little film clip helps. A question and a quote. So you don't, for the first moment, you don't have to rummage around your notes and look, where was it again? I vaguely remember it was on the left side on the top, but I can't find the page. No. Give people something concrete, something small to which they can react immediately and then tie it into the things they've already prepared on the basis of the prep mail. And that usually works very well. Now, when people, um, when, when specialists show a clip or an image, I also sometimes advise them to think about two things. One is the possibility of splitting up a group, the group of their colleagues. Say we're looking at a film clip, film clip and the specialist can think ahead of time. Okay, if I split this group, I can ask one half of the room to look at the images, the color scheme, what does the camera do? Does it move? Does it zoom? Does it roll? Does it pan? What is the angle um, from bottom up? Is it a, a frog perspective? Is it a, a perspective, a bird's view perspective? And the other half of the room can pay attention to the music, to the sound. Um, is there, uh, are there several layers of sound in this clip? And what effect do these stylistic devices have? Um, and that usually warms up people really nicely. And that usually helps them over the crisis of the beginning. Apart from having a very concrete piece, uh, concrete piece of analysis for the beginning of class, what also helps, and some students have told me that it helps them a lot, is to give, that the specialist gives his or her colleagues um, an idea of what the lesson is going to look like. So that he or she frames the lesson, say, this is what I would like to cover with you in the next 70, 75 minutes. Um, so that could be one slide in a PowerPoint presentation, just with general information. These are the large points we're going to cover. And this is intimately connected to timing. Um, it means if the audience, if the student participations know we're going to cover five points, then it's going to be easier to usher the group along gently, nudge them forward, because they know, oh yeah, we need to cover another four points. We can't keep sp spending a lot of time on this one issue.